Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial, today, we are going to create cinematic trailer title, like this. So let's get started, first open After Effect, and create a new composition, 1920 by 1080 and it's called the main comp. Then create a new comp, it's called scene 1. Now type your text. Align your text center of the composition. Select both text and pre-compose them. It's called edit text. You are free to create an any name cause I am not good in renaming. Now create a new composition. It's called title logo comp. Then create a new white color solid layer. And drag edit text comp into timeline. And change track matte alpha matte. Duplicate edit title layer and turn on visibility. And apply drop shadow effect. Here you can see the drop shadow effects. Now create one new composition. It's called Grunge Texture Comp. Drag Edit Title Comp into Grunge Texture Composition. Here we have some footages. Download footage link in description. Drag wall grunge texture image into timeline. And change track matte alpha matte. You can see the text. Now go to title logo composition. And drag grunge texture comp into timeline. Then drag edit title comp into timeline. And change mode normal to add. Then apply simple choker effect. And change choke mat too. Here you can see the effect. Now apply tint effect. And change map white to black. Then apply to rough and edges. Change edge type photocopy. Then apply drop shadow. And change opacity around 80%. Perfect. Now duplicate edit title comp once again. And change mode normal to overlay. Delete simple choker effect. And change tint color little dark gray. Also change the edge type, rusty. And order around 12. Delete the drop shadow, and duplicate the rough and edge. And change the edge type cut. And border around 30. Now again duplicate edit title one more time. And delete all effects. Then change mode normal. Now apply simple choker effect and change choker mat too. Then select the second edit title layer. And change track mat, alpha inverted mat. Now duplicate edit title one more time. And apply tint effect. And change map white to black. Then apply drop shadow effect. And change mode normal to overlay. Now create a light. I am using point light. Select all layer and turn on 3D layer. And adjust light according to your preference.
Now go to scene 1 and drag title logo comp into timeline. This edit tile comp in our shadow layer. Select the layer and apply tint effect. And change color white to black, then apply CC radial blur effect. Change blur type fading zoom. And amount around 42. And also change the center point like this. Now apply drop shadow effect. Change opacity 100%, direction 173 degree. Softness around 6. Now duplicate the drop shadow effect one more time, for better shadow effect. Perfect, it's look good to me. Here we have grunge background image, drag image into timeline. Then apply motion tile effect. Check on mirror edges, and change output width and height 500. Now apply curves effect. And adjust your curves something like this. Then apply levels effect, and change the input height around 200. Then apply sharpen effect, and change sharpen amount around 30. Now create a new solid layer, and move above the background layer. Now select Bend tool and create a mask above the title like this. Then open mask property and check inverted. And increase the feather around 500 pixels, and mask expansion around minus 150 pixels. Now create a new solid layer. Then apply fill effect. Change fill color white. And change opacity around 25%. This layer gives our composition little fade effect. Now go to project window and drag smoke footage into timeline. Trim the footage when our smoke visible in the composition. And change mode normal to screen. And also change the opacity around 20%. Now drag fire particle footage into timeline. And change mode normal to screen, then drag spark footage into timeline. Now drag dust particle image into timeline. And resize according to composition. Then select Bend tool and create a mask like this. Open mask property and change mask feather around 250 pixels. And change mode normal to screen. And also change opacity around 40%. Now create a camera. I am using 50mm preset camera. Select both pre-comp and background layer and turn on 3D. Now animate the camera. Hit P for position and R for rotation. Go to 2 seconds forward and add a keyframe on position and Z rotation. Now go to first frame and move Z position little closer to camera. and Z rotation around 25 degrees. Select all keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this.
perfect, it's look good to me. You can also turn on the motion blur. Now go to main comp, and drag scene 1 composition into timeline. Then create a new adjustment layer. And apply curves effect. Adjust the curves something like this. Then create one more adjustment layer. And apply curves effects. Adjust the curves according to your preference. You are free to go with any color, I am just showing you example. Here we have a color background image. Drag image into timeline. And change mode normal to screen. Now add letterbox effect, to create cinematic look. Select rectangle tool and create a black bar like this. Perfect. Our animation has done, hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.